Do you want to build custom water-cooled PCs but don't know what parts to use or how to connect them all together? Then you are in luck, because in this episode, I'm going to show you how to build custom water-cooled PCs just like these. Welcome to the PC Building Simulator Deep Dive Series, where we will cover a range of different in-game features in detail. This series is aimed to provide you with the information you need to help you get through the more complex parts of the game. I'm your host, Big Jake901, and you can find more of my content over at youtube.com forward slash Big Jake901 or by clicking the link in the description. In the last episode, we covered overclocking a graphics card. If you missed that episode and you're interested in learning how to overclock a graphics card, you should definitely go check that episode out. As I said in the intro, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to custom water cool a PC. Let's get started. As you can see, I have already started mounting parts in the case here. I've got a motherboard, CPU, RAM, I've got some M.2 drives, and I went ahead and mounted a power supply. If you're interested in what the specs are for all of this stuff, it is over here. The specs don't really matter though, because this is all about water cooling. So one of our first steps for water cooling is we need to get some thermal paste on this CPU. So let's grab some thermal paste. Let's get it put on the CPU. Then we need to come back into the inventory. We need to go over to custom water cooling. And the first thing I want to get is a CPU block. So we're going to go to CPU blocks. I'm going to click fits this PC because I don't want to see a bunch of parts that don't actually fit. So as you can see in here, there is a whole bunch of parts that actually fit my build. I could use any of them. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. It really comes down to cost and the way it looks. So I'm going to pick this one, the EK Supremacy Evo Full Nickel, because it says where it says in and out on it. I want to show you guys where things actually connect. So I want to make sure everything says in and out because some of these don't actually have it written on there. So let's pick that one. Let's go ahead and get it installed. There we go. Next, I want to get this thing ready for a radiator up here in the front. So let's get these fans out of the way. And then this case has a beauty panel that has to be removed. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. We'll come back into our inventory. I'm going to go up here to radiators. Now, there are a bunch of radiators that will fit this. But I want the biggest one that's going to fit in the front. And I know that that happens to be a 360 millimeter radiator. Let's come down here. I'd like some I'd like some light and color, so let's pick this EK Coolstream SE 360 RGB. So it is a 360 millimeter radiator. We're going to put it right here in the front. We're going to go ahead and screw that down. Next thing we need is a reservoir. So let's come here to reservoirs. Again, this all depends on what case you're using, and if you are in career mode, it kind of depends on your budget as well, because these all have different prices. But here in free build, I'm going to pick this EK140 Revo D5 RGB, because again, I would like some RGB in the case. So let's go ahead and screw that down. So right now, if we just wanted to water cool the CPU only, this is all the loop we would need. I want to water cool the whole thing, but I want to show you guys first how to set up a loop just for the CPU. So if you were going to run a air cooled graphics card, this is how you would want to custom water cool just the CPU. So let's go here to piping. I just want to use right now the flexible, the clear flexible pipe. And let's pick a different color here. Let's pick some red fittings just so that they stand out a little bit better. I'm going to start on the CPU block, and as you can see, it's a little hard to see, but this says out and this says in. And then up here, this says out and this says in. Actually, it says in down here. So I'm going to run out of the reservoir and into the radiator. Then I'm going to run out of the radiator and into the CPU block. And finally, I'm gonna run out of the CPU block and back into the reservoir. So there is a completed CPU only loop. All that's left to do is cable everything up, 
which we'll do right now because we can't put coolant in it, which is the next step until everything's cabled. Make sure everything's cabled up. And then let's go in here. Let's go to coolant. And let's pick something we can see. Let's do some red opaque. Click on the reservoir and it will start pumping coolant through the system. So again, if you're doing an air-cooled build, let's get these out of the way. Let's throw a graphics card in there. Just any old graphics card will do. There we go. We get a graphics card in. Let's cable it up as well. And we're ready to power this on. So there is a completed a CPU loop. But I want to water cool the whole thing. So let's power this down. Let's remove this graphics card. Let's remove our coolant because I want to use hard tubing. So let's get these soft tubes removed. And then we need to go back over here to custom water cooling and we need to get a water cooled GPU. I'm actually gonna get two. There's all different kinds. I'm going to pick this EVGA RTX 2080 Ti for the Win3 Ultra Hydro Copper Gaming. That is a very long name for graphics card. I'm actually going to use two of these, so let's get this one installed and then I'm going to remove a couple of those and we will grab a second one. All right, so we've got dual 2080 Ti's. Let's go ahead, let's cable them up. And now we are ready to add our piping. So I want to use hardline piping and I'm going to pick something we can all see makes it a little bit easier. Some of the darker or clear colors are hard to see. So let's get some white rigid and we'll do some white fittings. Well, let's start off with the reservoir. This side is out. So we're going to run from out and into our radiator. Now to bend this pipe, you hover over it and you see the little plus with the circle around it. You can grab that and add a bend. So if you wanna make all kinds of crazy bends, it's very easy to do so. So there we go. And we've, we've left room because you need to leave room for your fitting down here to complete the loop. Once your tubing's how you like it, go ahead and click accept. Then we're gonna run out of the radiator and into the CPU block. And again, you hover over. You can hover over where a bend already is. It'll just give you a circle and you can grab it and move it however you want. That looks pretty good to me, but we can come over here to this side and we can pull a new angle and we can straighten it up some. So we have a nice straight piece of tubing or you can do any kind of crazy bends that you would like to do so if we're happy with that we'll come down here we'll hit accept and then we need to run out of the cpu block and into our water cooled graphics card also if you end up with a bend that you don't like you end up with a corner you don't want you can come down here to where it says remove corner you can click on that it'll give you a little red x you click and hold and that corner will disappear So again, we can add a bend here if we want. We can get this to where we've got some nice angles on it. Like so. I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of angles to this thing, just for fun. So there we go, we've got all kinds of angles, so it'll come out of here and go through all that and down into the graphics card. Once you're happy with that, again, you hit accept. And then we've got our two graphics cards that we need to connect together. So I'm gonna do a connection here, and I'm just gonna leave it straight. I'm also gonna do a connection here. So these graphics cards are connected in two different spots. And then finally, to complete the circuit, you're gonna need to run out of somewhere so i'm going to pick this spot to run out of 
So it's coming in over here, it's going through the graphics card, going down through both of these tubes and into this graphics card, and then it's going to come out of here, and it's going to go into our reservoir. Again, we can play around with bins and get things exactly how we want them. I'm pretty happy with that, so let's go ahead and click Accept. Now you'll see that there's two connections here that are left over. Don't worry about those, they don't need to be connected to anything. Your loop is complete, this is just extra connections that aren't needed. But what is needed is some coolant, so let's go back down here. We'll go back into the coolant. Let's grab some coolant that hopefully will show through, maybe we'll do some more red. We'll get our coolant in and we can watch it flow through the entire system. You can even see it run through some of these graphics cards. Once it's done going through the system, it's ready to be started. So we can go ahead and hit power, and there we go. We have a custom, a fully custom, water-cooled PC. Let's go ahead and finish this PC up, though. Let's grab a USB drive. We'll get that installed. Let's do a quick power cycle here. Let's go ahead and put our lighting app on. We're going to go ahead and select everything. Let's do static. We will do white. And there we go. Our custom water-cooled PC is complete. We can go ahead and put our case back together. And there it is. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe right here to the official PC Building Simulator YouTube channel. Also, there are other creators making content for the official PC Building Simulator channel. So be sure to go and check out the other content that is available here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.